In today's video, I want to talk about uh, how do you get a remote position uh, work. And the reason why I want to make this specific video is because in the past few weeks, two weeks actually, I was in an interview process with multiple companies and the type of questions they were asking me were very, very similar or at least they were pointing to one specific category and that is peer programming. And it, it kind of makes sense. Why? Because uh, since last year, today, uh, a lot of companies were forced to move to online uh, environment and uh, there were no systems set up on uh, how would you even do that. We all kind of used to work in person with people, especially as developers working on specific project as a team. We collaborate with each other quite a bit, but today is quite different and uh, a lot of developers, they are not ready for pair programming online. So this is where our uh, thinking comes in or oh, us being a little bit tricky in terms of how can we stand out during an interview that requires to be remote. So the first thing that I think helped me to get software engineering position and that is to know my tools that will help me to pair program with other developers. And the tool that I'll be referring to right now is Visual Studio Code which is an IDE that uh, a lot of you might be aware right now. Uh, it's a great tool for like web development. It has a lot of like packages you can install and use. But one of the main packages that I really want to point out right now, that is live sharing. Now live sharing is what it allows you to do is it will allow you to share your current environment that you have on your laptop with other developers. So you'll generate the specific uh, uh, URL link that will point to your ID environment, to your project. You will send it to your uh, team members. And when they will click on it, they'll be able to have access to your ID environment, to your code. Now, why is this so great? What is so great about it? Well, he, let me give you a scenario. In the back in the day, what developers used to do if we are like, uh, have to do some sort of a work online because someone was sick and they're working from home just for today, a few days. The way they used to do pair programming is they'll be like on a Zoom call or some sort of a, a call where they'll be sharing their screen. And if I were to ask a person like, hey, can you open this specific file? I'll have to repeat that multiple times because of internet connection. And when they do open, what I want is to go like line by line to see like uh, what's going on, what is the bug is. But instead, the developer or the person on the other end will scroll like there's no tomorrow. And you have to be sitting there, keep on saying, slow down a little bit, go back up. I'm not done reading the code. Or like when you have to tell them what to type, they will just keep on writing stuff, type, type, type. And then you're like, sorry, you got a typo there. No, this is not where I ask you to type, blah, blah. So there's a lot of miscommunication there later on. So as you can see, there are a lot of problems you're starting to have if you're just sharing screen and you don't have control or access to their code repository. And that's why this uh, Visual Studio Code live share is so awesome for us developers is because now me as a developer, I can control your code, uh, your IDE um, easily. Like I can open whatever the file I want. It doesn't give me access to your entire machine, but it does give me access to your IDE. So I'm able to access to any of the file I want within that project. I can write it myself and uh, don't have to be interrupted. And as well as you can see how many people are currently in that uh, live share right now and the, where they are located or what file they are currently looking at. So it's really, really good. Uh, tool to use for you to consider, by the way. And uh, when you're on an interview, if they'll ask you a question of how do you do remote uh, pair programming? Like, or what is your solution? Like, uh, what do you do? If you say that uh, you're using Visual Studio Code to do this type of a pair programming, you'll stand out much, much higher because if other developer doesn't know who's been interviewed for this position, you just got more points compared to a developer who is still using this uh, old uh, process. And uh, those are my uh, tips or something that uh, really helped me a lot during the interview process to talk a lot about pair programming. Let me know if that was uh, helpful for you in the description uh, below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.